What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV, another 12 days of winter variant review for you today for the first video of the day. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a second video out. I was planning to do a second video, but I still don't have gameplay for the topic that I was going to cover. And we actually just got hit by a winter storm here, funny enough. So after this video goes out, I'll be outside like shoveling snow for like an hour or two or something like that. So this video may be going out late. And if I do do a second video, it will likely be going out quite late. So I'll let you guys know what's going on on Twitter a little bit later in the day. So make sure you're following me on Twitter for all of the latest updates. It's at Black Tide TV, same way that you spell it on the YouTube channel name. Now in this video, we're looking at the Titan Slay Guide variant. Now, if you don't understand the pun, it's a pun on sleigh ride as in s-l-e-i-g-h as in you go on a ride on a sleigh like a winter sleigh ride but it's sleigh guide as in s-l-a-y and guide because well it has the sensor trait and the sensor trait marks targets on your mini map when you're taking damage so it's a guide on where you can go to sleigh it's a terrible joke i didn't make the joke don't look at me like that Anyways, this weapon is a total letdown. One, it's already in the game as the Titan Rakana Tour, which we found this out the other day that the weapons that they're adding for 12 Days of Winter are actually replicas of weapons that they just added in the most recent Quartermaster update. I'll link my Quartermaster update, my variant update video in the description down below so you can check that out, see what all the 12 new variants that just got added the other day are. But they added 12 new variants and three of those variants are actually the 12 Days of Winter variants just without the winter camouflage, without the winter reticles. So basically what I'm saying here is these weapons are in the game and you can purchase them if you missed opening them for your 12 days of winter variant like you can open these 12 days of winter variants every day but some someday you might miss it you might forget that you have to get on there and open up your supply drop you might miss that supply drop well that's not a big deal because you can just buy these weapons in the armory from the quartermaster you can just buy them straight out the titan rakana tour is the exact same as the titan sleigh guide so the titan sleigh guide has sensor and sharpshooter the Titan Rakana Tour, as you can see on the screen here, has Sensor and Sharpshooter. It's also still a rare variant, except instead of having this festive camouflage and this cool reticle, it, it, it's just normal. And while we're on the topic of the festive camo and quote-unquote cool reticle, I shouldn't have said cool reticle because we've already seen this reticle and this camouflage on the first 12 days of winter variant and this just this weapon lost all sex appeal for me the second i saw it because it's the exact same as the rpr evo sled shot when you look at the sled shot which is the cheap shot in the armory if you didn't actually end up getting the sled shot that video will actually be linked in the cards in the top right corner as well if you haven't seen my sled shot review but the sled shot the cheap shot whatever the sled shot ex itself the 12 days of winter variant of the cheap shot it has the exact same camouflage as this, red with snowflakes, and it has the exact same reticle when you pop it out into assault rifle mode and you have that digital little reticle thing, like that little snowflake, the exact same. It's the snowflake and it's got the little snow falling from the sides. I was really excited because I thought, you know what, it's okay that these variants are the same as other variants that are already in the game. It's not a big deal, but... What really irks me is that I thought they were going to add in new cool camouflages or something different for each weapon. I thought that they were going to have like, a, for example, in Modern Warfare Remastered where we have Ugly Sweater and Gift Wrap. Oh, I thought we were going to have like a green camouflage or maybe like something else. Something that had like little Santa Claus faces on it or something like that. Like the exact same camouflage again and the exact same reticle it's just such a letdown for me now this is a variant review and we have not yet talked about the traits in depth i've mentioned them a couple times but we haven't actually gone in depth on what they do so i'll throw the card up for the titan slay guide so you guys can follow along and let's get going so the sensor trait is the rare trait and the common trait is sharpshooter sensor is going to make your targets show up on the mini map with a bright red dot whenever you inflict them with damage and sharpshooter is going to increase your damage range now sharpshooter is actually a welcome benefit on this weapon as the titan is usually a four or five shot kill weapon the range that you have to be at with the base variant to get a five shot kill is already incredibly long but adding this sharpshooter bonus you're essentially always going to get a four shot kill the five shot kill range is still there but it is so ridiculously far away that you'll almost never get a five shot kill it'll always be a four shot kill and that's actually really great to have that consistency with a weapon sensor is pretty cool as well but 
I don't find it to be that beneficial because generally when I'm shooting at an enemy, they are going to die. My my motto in Call of Duty is you never shoot at something that you can't kill. So if there's an enemy running past a doorway or something and I'm not going to try and shoot at him, sure it will mark him on the minimap so that I can kill him later, but I'd rather, I'd rather just shoot at the people that I can kill. So sensor isn't a great benefit to me, but you might like it if maybe you find yourself shooting at enemies and not killing them all the time, or maybe you just want to mark your targets for your teammates when you're playing search and destroy or something like that. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember that if you missed the Titan Slay Guide in the 12 Days of Winter Supply Drips, you can still purchase it as the Titan Reconnoitre in the armory. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already, and I'll see you on the next one.